see how they're going to flatten that curve, let alone make it go down. Lindsay Olson. Now here, the issue of police stopping and searching people during the lockdown has raised concerns. The civil rights group Liberty says people from black and ethnic minority backgrounds are 54% more likely to be fined under coronavirus laws. And in London, there's been a spike in stop and search in the first month of lockdown. Fatima Manji reports. You can be detained for a drug search, right? Footage of this officer arresting a black man in London has gone viral. You're here with your friends, a couple of cars, okay. and you haven't really given me enough reason to believe that you're here just seeing them in okay. COVID-19 situations, right? So the man is reportedly an ambulance driver. He tells the officer he's just meeting friends. All right, no worries. The way he was stopped and searched is causing anger and upset. Hold on, hold on, don't grab my arm like that. Don't grab my arm like that. Don't grab my arm like that. You're going to be placed in custody. No, you're going to be placed in custody. Why did you stop me anyway? Right. And yet, it's not the only incident of its kind. Hey, what's going to happen? You're going to be detained for the purpose of search, OK? You see, you see. Ryan Kalako filmed himself being stopped and searched. He says the police accused him of having a smell of cannabis. Why, why, why have you got handcuffs out? Why have you got handcuffs out? What are you doing? What are you doing, man? And eventually found nothing in his car. So it's like, whoa, 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 hold up. Like, what's this stop about? And at that point... <laughs> That's when they started getting a lot more aggressive, you know, and his hand, if you look at the video, it was, it was, it was in my face. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, you don't have any grounds to search me. Ryan says yeah, encounters like this are leaving people like feeling they can't so trust the police. You know, I still think institutional racism is very prevalent um, and it does worry me. And I don't think the system does enough to protect us. Basically. A few hours after this interview, Ryan called us to say he'd just been arrested while on his way home. He told us he has no criminal record. We've contacted the City of London Police and have yet to hear back. In London, there's been a spike in stop and searches. Up by 22% in the first month of lockdown, it's the highest figure in seven years. And we know that black men are more likely to be stopped. And there's concern too about who is being fined under coronavirus laws. People of colour are 54% more likely to be fined than white people under the new coronavirus policing powers. Um, and that's profoundly concerning. So it illustrates that the impact of the police powers granted to enforce lockdown have not been evenly felt. The Metropolitan Police told us stop and search remains an important tactic for frontline officers and that the lockdown makes suspicious activity on the streets more visible, so they've been more proactive. The National Police Chiefs Council say there are a number of complexities in interpreting the data on coronavirus fines when it comes to ethnicity, and they're further analysing the data, adding officers have only used fines as a last resort. After the break, poisonings and shootings. How the killing of birds of prey has united a group of villagers to fight back against wildlife crime in North York.